so this is my hallway. It's a pod. Here's a bulletin board that I put together. It's a hallway. We just actually finished state testing. My classroom is in a corner of the pod. And I usually leave my door open because um, it prevents students from hiding behind or congregating in that area to talk to one another. Um, this is my standards poster, which I talked about in another video, which I'll put the link down below in the description section. Here is the eye, because it just indicates that's the standard that we are focusing on for that particular day. So this is my classroom. This is what it looks like with the lights off. So let me go ahead and give you a tour of my room. Spring semester, actually we're two weeks out from the end of the school year. So when students come into my room, their interactive notebooks right here, either myself or a student will grab the basket for the period and we will place it over here so that way the students aren't crowding over there by the door and creating um, a blockade, just students. And so they'll grab their interactive notebooks and they'll come to their desk area so I have eight groups of four, and each group has their own um, box of materials, which I'll go over in a, in, a, in a few seconds. However, this is also another area, if you follow me on my Facebook page or my Instagram, you will may have seen um, pictures of various organisms that I get every couple weeks, and I get to keep them for about two weeks. I've had everything from snakes to uh, Madagascar hissing cockroaches to gerbils to guinea pigs. You name it, um, and the students love it. One of the things about their notebooks is you see they're color coded here. So it's first, fourth, seventh, sixth, seventh, and the eighth period. And it also corresponds to their hall ticket pass, which I created a video on that. So if you're interested, I'll put the link in the video description down below. But if they want to go get water or if they want to go to the bathroom, they have to give me a ticket and then I'll give them the official school pass, which we are color coded by location, so I'm downstairs, so I happen to be green. Also here is originally where the shelf my interactive notebooks were on, which was over here. However, um, someone gave the bookshelf away and I decided to take that. So here's where I place all my papers for the week. So I'll either come in um, on a weekend real quick to make my copies, or I'll do it before I leave for the weekend. And it's just easy to have a place to keep all, a central location to keep all my documents. Um, so that way, like if I'm looking for something, I just go here. I also have inclusion teachers and tutors. And then if a student's absent, they can come to the shelf and they can pick something as well. Furthermore, I have some scratch paper here for students. And then if I happen to be sick one day and I can't make it to school, which happened one year, I had really bad food poisoning, there is just a stack of emergency lesson plans and activities, um, not activities, worksheets that the students can do with a post-it note with directions on there for the substitute teacher. This is my work area, so let me step back. So here's my innovation station, which connects to a projector, which you can't really see up there. Um, I have a Keurig document camera. Um, it's connected to a Bluetooth system, which everything is down here. I think I demonstrated that in a in my beginning of the school year video um, document camera where I do all my work. And I've had issues with my projector all year long. They switched it out, long story, switched it out because it wasn't working correctly. But then this model is the wrong model, so it's too close to the screen, so basically useless. Um, this is my area where I have like my popsicle sticks. I don't show you too much of that because it has student names on there my draft interactive notebooks which correspond to the topic and the period so this is blue and yellow which matches first period and sixth period those are my environmental systems classes and this is my biology one so fourth seventh and eighth period are biology um i have a standards poster up here so I got this from a company called Lead Forward, and they create this here in Texas. It's called Teeks for Biology. So I decided to 
print out a PDF file onto a large poster paper and laminate and post it up there. Um, additionally, I have my pictures, which I was finally able to, you know, print out after I had enough pictures to put up there. So a dimensional man. There are actually a couple of these in the, the storeroom and not a, a bunch of the science teachers didn't utilize them, so I decided to take one for myself. My desk still held it pretty well over the year, considering that I had wrapped it in fab fabric. Um, I did had a couple of lab stations here for my students, so you can kind of tell where they leaned against the, the desk and the fabric. I don't really mind because it actually held up and I was trying it for the first time this school year, so I was pretty excited that it, it lasted. I also did it here on the other demo table off to the side. Have a refrigerator, microwave. That's part of a shelving unit, which the cabinet part is over there. Then this is where I have just some documents that I, um, from department meetings, any important documents. I just come and I place them in there so that way, if I need to pull something, I know where it's at. Here's my Science Stars student exemplar work. So I, this was empty at the beginning of the school year when I did the beginning of the school year tour, but I was able to get some excellent work samples over the school year and post, post them up there. So the students really like that. Also a great way to showcase work because anytime I had an observation, people would go up to that area and they would look at it. Here's one of my collaborative posters. I talked about collaborative posters on a blog post. So if you're interested in a collaborative poster and what that is and some examples, I'll put the link in the description below. I actually had several more up here on the ceiling, but we just finished doing state testing a couple weeks ago. And so I took them down and never put them back up. Um, then I used some of my college books and various other books for room decor with plants. Um, here are where my interactive, I think this is locked, yeah. My interactive notebook supplies, so you can kind of see them in there. And things are falling down, but I also take pictures and student work that I place up here um, on the glass of the cabinets. And here I have, if I don't kill myself walking backwards, here I have, I, there are two cows in this pod, and I am one of the cows is housed in my classroom. So if teachers want to utilize it, they can um, check it out through me which not that many teachers did this year. I utilized the code pretty much all, all school year. Here's another whiteboard where I have anchors of support. So my ecology for environmental systems. And then I had two of my um, tutors create some anchors of support over protein synthesis and classification. This idea I saw on Pinterest and there was a teacher pay teacher seller who was selling this, but she was an elementary teacher and so didn't really apply to me, so I created one for high school, but I will put the link to her store down in the description section, so in case you're interested in that. Here's another standards poster, which, again, I hang one on the classroom door, which usually stays open, so as people are walking in, they can see that, but then this one is for me and the students, and I can always refer back to it. Again, the eye is letting people know um, that's the standard that we're covering. Just some lab stuff back here, sink, Kind of dirty actually this when i was an assistant principal at this campus i had i used this to keep track of my ards my 504s parent meetings um, but i didn't really utilize it this year because it was all the way over here and so next year i want to make sure that i do a better job of keeping up with um, meetings it's just my schedule was a little bit different this year compared to last year um, so here's my classroom from i guess the lab area set up if you call this a lab same thing more pictures student work exemplars up on the glass of the cabinets. Then as you can see, I have um, some sentence stems, which I'm part of an ELA, ELL cohort. And so after that, which started this semester in spring, I decided to put some sentence stems up. And I use, utilize them, but not as much as I would have liked to. There's some over there and over there. And so that is my goal for next year is to make sure that I'm actively utilizing sentence stems, especially one of my classes, I had a high number of L's in, and so I wanted to make sure that I do that. I think this one is open. Oh, okay. So here I have some of my activities in bins. So over the summer, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna label these so that it was just easier for me to find things. So for example, this is my protein synthesis mutation 
activity set. So if I'm looking for something or if somebody wants to borrow something, um, I know where to find that. So that's my cabinet space. So I don't slam that. You can see some other activities in there. Some of the work is falling down. Um, again, plants up there with my pictures, which again, I had these pictures at home that I bought off Etsy. So I'll put that in the description link down below if you're interested. But I just printed those off and bought some frames and put them up there. So that way it just wasn't, it gave some life to the room. Um, again, I painted the wall, the columns right there, navy blue. And then I had my last name. I was recreating something that I had in my office as an AP, and I really wanted to use that. So anytime a student says, I don't know your name or I don't know how to spell your last name, well, look up on the wall. There it is. Um, more microscope, lab space, dictionaries, the yearbooks. Again, I decided to place the yearbooks up there. Um, not too much over here. I'm just trying to make use of the white wall space. So again, putting, here's another another collaborative poster, but then putting some more pictures. Um, that Ikea picture that I have over there is just something that I had at home, but I didn't have any space to hang it. And then I, it was hanging in my office as an AP, but I didn't have any space here. So it's just back there. Um, some pictures of with the senior class, again, when I was an AP here. Some work, some art that I got from New Orleans to hang up there. Um, here's this Instagram picture that they always ask every single, I wouldn't say every day, but pretty much every week for the entire school year, they wanted to know if this was real or not. And I loved it because it just, they were so intrigued. You don't have that many followers. Um, but if you're interested in creating your own, it was editable. I bought it off Teacher Pay Teachers. I will put the link down in the description below. And again, these pictures are actually over 10 years old because that's when I first started teaching. So a lot of those students have already graduated high school, college. Some of them are, some of them are actually teachers now. So that's science teachers. So that's a great thing. Um, so, but all I did was I printed out some pictures that I had when, back then when I had those students and I put, put them up there. Here's some more pictures that I have up there. And I do the pictures because it's just a great way anytime someone's visiting my classroom maybe during that 10, 15 minute stretch that they're in there observing me. They we might be taking notes one day and they may not come when we're doing an activity. So it's just great they can, as they're walking around the room, they can see all the great fun stuff that we've been doing. And it's also a great way to build community in the classroom because the students, they're always trying to guess if that was their hand or if it was them or if they can be in a picture. I didn't really take pictures of the students too much this year, but that is my goal next year since they really, really asking me to do that. Um, this school year so that is my classroom or that's the spring tour not too much changed from you know the beginning of the year tour to now so if there's any questions that you have about the video or something that you saw then feel free to leave a comment in the comment section or if there's anything about the video that you like then make sure to hit that like button and if you haven't already subscribed Make sure to do that so that way you can bond with James. As always, thanks for watching.